Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Miranda, your marriage and relationship coach. You think you've come of age to marry, probably you're 25 as a young woman or you're 30 as a young man. How do you know you're ripe for marriage? If you like topics like this, please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we make videos like this. Don't go anywhere. See you after the short break. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, I am Miranda, your marriage and relationship coach. Maybe you have come of age and you think it's time to marry and probably for men, you've made some money and you think it's time for you to marry. Let's look at a few other things you have to put in check to know if you're right for marriage. Number one, you believe in marriage. Despite all the negativity all over the place, concerning marriages, a lot of failed marriages here and there, a lot of negativity about marriages on social media, a lot of negativity about marriages around our society, you still believe in marriage. You still believe that marriage is a sacred union that was created by God and you desire to be married. Number two, you are a happy single. You live a happy single life. You live a complete single life. You're content being single. You're happy with the kind of woman you are. You're happy with the kind of man you are. You're content as a single. You're able to meet up with your needs, to do your chores, take care of your home, do your cooking. You are content as a single. You're happy being single. Why should you make sure that you're happy being single? Because when you get into marriage, there are actually two whole persons that come to become one, not two half persons. That means you come to complete your partner. You are not coming for your partner to probably give you the things you don't have. You must be happy. You go into marriage with your own happiness. You go into marriage with your joy. And then you come with your partner having his own happiness and his own joy. And you form a team to become two happy persons. So you must first of all be living a happy single life, a complete single life, before you plan to marry. The question here is, can you marry yourself? I mean, if you're a woman, you should be saying, as a man, in case you're a man, can you marry the woman that you are or the woman that you have become? If you're a man, you should be asking that in case you were a woman, can you marry the kind of man that you are? That should be the question. If you can possibly say yes to that question, then you are ripe for marriage. Number three, you are deliberately putting in efforts to make yourself better. You've evaluated your flaws, you've evaluated your weaknesses, you've evaluated your limitations, you've evaluated the things that you don't have or the things you're not happy about concerning your life. And you are working daily to make yourself better. Maybe your character trait. Probably you realize that you have anger issues and you're working on this thing, on this anger issue to make yourself better. Probably you realize that you're lazy and you're working to make yourself better. So you are a work in progress. You are deliberately putting in efforts to get better. Number four, you have worked on your trust issues. This is particularly important. Many persons have been in relationships and these relationships ended badly and they have come out of these relationships with broken hearts. Many, you hear some women say that all men are scum. You hear some men say that all women are cheats and all men are liars or all men are cheats. And you, because of these many broken relationships, you have lost trust in maybe men or trust in women. You should have worked on your trust issues. You should have understood that there are moments wherein or these bad moments have come or probably you met just a bad person. In case you have understood that you met a bad person or you met a wrong person, you met a person that was not right for you because sometimes you may be considering someone to be a bad person whereas the person was not just right for you. You met somebody who was not right for you. You met somebody you weren't compatible with and you are ready to put aside your pain put behind your trust issues and to start a new relationship 
you're ready to give love another chance. If you have worked on your trust issues and you're ready to give love another chance, then you are one step ready for marriage. Number five, you have no problem apologizing. You have come to terms with the fact that no one has a monopoly of knowledge. No one knows it all. You do not know everything. So there are, of course, domains wherein you will make mistakes. There are domains wherein you will probably not do something right the way it's supposed to be done. So you have come to terms with this fact that you do not know it all. So you are ready to learn. And in case you make a mistake, you're ready to say, I am sorry. This is a magical word. We must learn it. Most men don't, some men don't know how to say I'm sorry. For them, it's like diminishing. Um, their ego does not permit them to say I'm sorry. I read a story one day and it was said that a young man asked his father that how do I know that I'm ready for marriage? And then the father said, say I'm sorry. He said, I'm sorry. The father said, say that you, I am sorry. And he said, I'm sorry. He <laughs> say that you are sorry over again. And then he asked the father, why should I be saying I'm sorry? And the father said, you should just say I'm sorry without asking why <laughs> you are sorry. I mean, the message here is to say that you should be ready to apologize because when you marry, these are two persons coming from two different backgrounds, coming from two different environments, having two different manner of looking at life and two different way of thinking. And of course, there are things you'll be learning about the other person or there are things the other person knows more than you. So much so that when in case you make a mistake or in case you hurt the person, you should be ready to apologize. So you have learned to apologize. You have come to terms with the fact that you do not have a monopoly of knowledge. You do not have a monopoly of savoir. And you are ready to apologize when you make mistakes. Number six, you are financially stable or you are getting there. Same thing for a man as well as for a woman. You should be able to make your own money or yeah, make your own money to be able to meet your own little needs, to be able to, for, as a woman, to be able to take care of yourself to some extent. As a man, you should be able to take care of yourself. You should be able to have some money to spare and some money to be able to take care of another person. Marriage comes with a lot, a lot of financial responsibility. Taking in a woman... Taking in a woman uh, means that you're taking up her responsibility. In fact, you're becoming a father. You're taking up responsibility in case children come in. You're taking up responsibility of children. You're taking up responsibility of feeding, housing. So you should be making your own money. You should be making some money. And you could be possibly financially stable. Or you're working to get into being financially stable. And as a woman, you should be able to take care already of your own self at least of your food, of your of your clothing, of your um, bathings, of your upkeep. You should be able to take care of yourself. Why? Because when you come into marriage, you should have the capacity to assist your husband. You should have the capacity to bring in your aid, to bring in your contribution for the well-being of the family. So you're working on being financially stable. At least you're doing something, even if you're not yet financially stable. You're doing something to get there. Number seven, you want to marry for the right reasons. You are not waiting for marriage to come and save you from some, I don't know what, probably save you from poverty, to come and save you from promiscuity. Probably some persons get married because they want to say they say they want to settle down. Yeah, they want to settle down. They want to stop moving from one woman to the other. Marriage does not save you from promiscuity. No. Discipline saves you from promiscuity. Discipline saves you from promiscuity. Either as a man or as a woman, marriage does not save you from promiscuity. You're not waiting for a man to come and save you from poverty, to carry all the load that your family has been going through, and to come and completely save you. That's the word, to save you. You're not waiting for a man to come and save you from loneliness. You're not waiting for a man to come and save you from a broken heart. You have to heal before you marry. You have to come out of your loneliness before you marry. You have to learn to love yourself before you marry. You have to learn to provide your own needs 
before you marry so you are getting married for the right reasons you are getting married because you want a partner to walk along the journey of life together that is the only reason why you're getting married you want someone to walk along the journey of life together to meet your goals together to accomplish your objectives together to to get have a family together you're getting married for the right reasons number eight you know in your gut that you're right for marriage you just feel that you're right <laughs> yeah <laughs> you just know that you're right you look at all of these other things and you just know that you're right for marriage. That was that on knowing whether you're right for marriage. However, we have another video on how to prepare for marriage. What the things you're supposed to take into consideration when you're preparing for marriage as a woman as well as as for a man. We will leave the link to that video in the comment section. And we also have another video on the kind of person to choose for marriage when you're choosing for marriage the kind of person or the kind of things you should take into consideration when you're making the choice for marriage that video too we will leave the link in the description below did you learn anything do you think there are other things you have to work on do you think there are some other points we could possibly add to this list on how to know that you're ready for marriage please leave us a comment like subscribe to our channel Hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we make videos like this. See you in our next video.